Darley stands three Group 1 winning stallions, all by their own sires, with first foals in 2021. Buyers at the upcoming foal sales will have the chance to see the first progeny of Blue Point, Too Darn Hot, and Massar. We caught up with members of Team Darley to hear more about these sires' first foals. Massar, um, he broke his maiden uh, in May of his two-year-old season. This is a very early two-year-old, especially for a horse that went on to win a derby. He went to the, to the Guineas and he finished a very good third. From the Guineas went and won his derby and again beat Sax Moria, beat Roaring Lion again. When I look back through that derby, uh, later on. It was a very deep race. There were, I think there were four or maybe five future group stakes winners in there. So a really deep renewal of the race. So for Massar to win it in the way he did was incredibly impressive. He covered 146 mares that first year um, and it was a good book, strong book. I think we pitched him at a good fee. You know, he was competitively priced at 15,000. Um, you know, he was 14,000 in his second year and he covered just under 100 mares. We've been really happy with Massar's foals. You know, we've got some really nice ones here on the farms um, at Dallum. You know, we, the team, we spend a lot of time going to see them each week and, you know, they really improve. They're, they're all kind of, they're slightly different types. You know, there, there are some that are quite, you'll think will be quite precocious and early, a bit like him. And there are some that, you know, will need a bit of time, will be more yearling prospects um, for commercial breeders. What he's kind of brilliant, kind of came at four in the King Stand. And he was an amazing winner at the King Stand. And, um, at that stage, we were desperate to stand him and Charlie Appleby was, you know, thankfully made the right call, brought him back to Ascot, you know, and uh, did this amazing feat of two group ones and, you know, the only horse ever to win three group one sprints at Ascot. He's a, uh, he was a hell of a racehorse. Heavily oversubscribed in his first year, what well, wasn't a surprise, um, covered 180 mares, huge level of fertility and covered some very, very nice mares. People really stepped up and sent him a very nice, high quality mare. Um, and there was, I suppose, an, not a surprise, but probably surprised how quickly they came for him in his second year. The people will describe a Shamanel head. They do have a little bit of that, but what they have is the great shoulder and great hip that Shamanel had and a lot of movement. And, uh, and the, they're on a real improve for us. I think come November, you're going to see some great representations of Blue Point, you know? He's obviously a really top-class two-year-old. I mean, he's a really impressive winner of the Dewhurst, one of the best Dewhursts, I think, in the last 20 years. Um, he's beaten, you know, Commonwealth Cup winners, Derby winners. So it's just a phenomenal two-year-old who went on to be a top-class three-year-old. Um, very good performance in the Sussex Stakes at Goodwood. Two Don Hot's been incredibly well received for the two seasons we've had him. Um, he has covered a book of mares that from all the top breeders in Europe, um, some really high class mares. Right from the get go with the first foals, the reports were really positive. And then obviously we've all been out and about and I can honestly say I've consistently seen some of the nicest foals by any of our stallions ever. I think um, they have a, a lot of debarbi about them in the fact that they can be quite compact, but they've probably got a little bit more of that sing spiel quality and a bit of two darn hot zone quality. And, you know, when you've got all the top breeders telling you they've got nice foals at home and, you know, a lot of them have come back and they'll be using them again next year.